Hi Crafty Cuties! I hope you are ready to do some crafting. Today I am super excited to share these really cute accordion pockets with you. They're so easy. I've done an accordion pocket before, but this is going to be even easier. And I was actually completely inspired by someone else on YouTube, which happens all the time. And I'm going to have her channel linked below, but I thought I would try to see if I can show it here too. It is Rosa Kelly Scrapbooking, and she has very, very um, easy instruction on her video, and it's very precise. And the way that she does it is going to obviously be a little bit different than mine, so I definitely recommend going and checking out her video if you decide that you want to make these, just so you can kind of get two different perspectives and. Um, yeah, let's hop right into it. So these are going to be perfect for junk journals, but honestly, even just happy mail. It would be so fun to send these um, as some happy mail and have like different little things, little goodies. And so you can see there are different little pockets and you can create these with however many um, pockets you want. Um, these would be really fun for Christmas cards. If you made yours big enough, um, you could fit Christmas cards in these and um, I made mine a little bit smaller just so they would actually fit in the junk journals, but I also made a little side pocket. This one has a top pocket, which is a little bit different than hers as well. So let's just get into it. You are going to need three envelopes, and I'm using some small ones. These are probably like, I don't know, three by six. And um, if that's going to create two pockets. So the more pockets you want, the more envelopes you need. Um, so then you will need some adhesive scissors and then anything that you want to decorate the front. I'm going to use some vintage uh, wrapping paper, some vintage stamps, and you know, I just have all kinds of things around me. Okay, so you take your three envelopes and you want to start by adhering the little flaps down. Okay, I'm just gonna use glue because I feel like this uh, sticky part here doesn't really stick too well and you do want to make sure that these are down good. This is seriously so easy. I'm just so excited that I found her video because I like including very interactive things in my journals but when they take like two hours for one page you know it's like it's just that time adds up. So finding easy things like this I love. And she has a really cute channel and I had I didn't find her channel until I had found this tutorial and I'm so happy because she is very crafty and she has lots of good ideas and tutorials. Okay, so now you have your envelopes, they are closed. And now we are basically going to adhere these on top of one another. And I wanted to create a top pocket. And so I'll show you how to do that. Now the other thing is, is decide if you want the orientation of your um, accordion to be vertical or horizontal. I'm going to go like this because again this works good for a journal and I think having the pockets on the side works well. Um, and so now I'm going to glue one envelope on top of the next and then I'm just using wet glue because it's easy and quick um, but if you're worried about warping or anything feel free to use tape, double-sided tape. I don't ever really see any warping with this kind of glue, but um, there we go. Now I am going to create a pocket on this top one here. So we just want to glue around three of the sides so that we can keep that opening. Now you could create, if you wanted to do this with that last one, you could have a double tag pocket, but these are going to get pretty stuffed. So I think I will stick with just the one top pocket, but it would be really fun if you just added so many pockets on one of these, I think so. And I love that these are just going to be so easy um, for customizing as well. Okay, there we go. Now obviously we, I'm going to let that dry before I use this as my little pocket. So now what we need to do is cut off a portion of the envelope. Now you could have done that before. I think that's how she does it, but I feel like um, things just line up a little bit better for me. I can't remember if that's how she did it. So I'm gonna use my trimmer and I am going to trim off the tiniest amount. And so that will create those pockets and open up our envelope here. 
So I'm gonna do like an eighth of an inch, if, yeah, as small as I can. Okay. Here we go. And I love this trimmer, by the way. I have a full review on it if you are looking into the Tim Holtz guillotine trimmer. I think that's what it's called, tonic. Okay, there we go. So now you will see, and you need to make sure everything's dry before you like pulling things apart, but I'll show you. So now you have your pockets in here and mine's still drying again, so I'm kind of pulling that. And I'm doing a quick voiceover because in this clip, I mentioned that you would have two pockets when you'll really have three. Now all we need to do is decorate the front. And if you wanted, you could have decorated it before. It really doesn't matter. Now I'm deciding, I have this vintage wrapping paper, but I also have like music paper and fabric. I mean, yeah, this is, this is just going to be so much fun. There are so many things that you can do with this. Now I'm actually gonna rip this. We'll, we'll decorate one more of these together after this, just so you know. Okay. Yeah, these projects are so fun where you can just take a main idea. You can make a bunch of these up and then, you know, you can decorate it to match whatever theme you are working on. And in my junk trunk kits, I'm actually going to be including envelopes so that you can do this project if you want. There we go. Now, since this is vintage wrapping paper, I don't know if it's going to kind of bubble up. So I am actually going to use my double-sided tape here because it's very thin. Now I don't usually, I don't hardly ever see the wrinkling with this glue, but this is super delicate. So we'll just kind of go like that. And then I am going to be layering things on top of this. So it's like that doesn't want to stick there. So maybe on the next one we can create a pocket that will be that will have a lot more little um, pockets <laughs> okay so we're gonna go like that and I feel like we definitely have to ink up the edges on this one hmm I honestly like using blues even though green would work I think blue I just I think that looks nice even with traditional colors you know so we'll go like that it would be really fun to do super vintage ones as well. And I definitely might do some more videos just decorating these because it's so much fun. I don't know what it is about it. I just, you know, pockets are just always fun for a junk journal or whatever. Okay, so now we have that and I have all kinds of things here. I could add lace. I mean, I definitely, I gotta add lace, right? Okay, so we'll do some lace for this one. And I'm feeling like I want some kind of a centerpiece or something on this. Um, and like I said, I also have, I have these stamps too. Those are fun vintage stamps. And this little thing right here says December. Maybe I should just keep it kind of small on this one since we have the vintage wrapping paper and that could kind of be the main, the main showcase here. And I have fabric. So, okay, let's cut off a piece of fabric and I should be using my fabric scissors, but that's all right. I, I don't know if it actually ruins these scissors by me cutting fabric. Let me know. <laughs> Probably. Okay. And I was trying to figure out a, an easy way to sew these. Um, and I mean, you could, you could sew around like this edge, but you wouldn't want to sew around the front because, or around this side, because that would um, close up your pocket there. So I'm sure I will figure it out. Or you could sew the top, um, the top picture, whatever. I think I did that on the other ones actually, I did. So that if you still love that stitch look, you can have it on, see I'll show you. If you can see, I did, I sewed this whole little um, layered embellishment kind of thing on here. And then, um, yeah. And by the way, it would be really fun. I added tabs on these ones, which I love. I add, actually added those onto the envelopes, but it would be really fun to have your inserts have little tabs as well. And I'm not gonna do the inserts right now for this video, but uh, okay. So we will just add this cute little fabric 
And then I kind of want to add one of these vintage stamps. I probably don't need to cut this, but <laughs> I'm afraid it's gonna rip or something. I got these stamps and this wrapping paper from Feed the Birdies on Instagram. Oh, I do like that, that's cute. Okay, we'll do that. So I'm just gonna messily add glue to the backs here. I just realized we are in 10 minutes. <laughs> There, that's fun. So now you can add your tabs if you want. I'm not gonna do that for this one just because I want to decorate one more with you guys. So that's super cute and you could write like the date or whatever and then you can add little notes or you know, whatever you want. And I'm realizing that I didn't glue these shut very well. So um, this is where the envelopes flap kind of came together. But anyways, I'll figure that out. Just make sure everything's glued good. Super cute. So now I already had one that I had put together and it does just have the two pockets. And I mentioned that I wanted to do um, three pockets on this one. So I'm going to just quickly <laughs> add one more and I'm going to go ahead and cut the edge that we did not just glue down. I think that might be a little bit better. And then I'm just going to add glue to the back of this again, and I should do it really good around the edges. And I think that's what I would do there. <laughs> okay. Okay. And now I will just cut that off. Sorry guys, this is a really long video. If you're still here, comment down below. I hear the jingle bells. I hear the jingle bells. Okay, there we go. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas Everywhere you go Take a look at the five and ten It's glistening once again With candy canes and silver lanes that glow It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas Toys in every store But the prettiest sight to see Is the holly that will be On your own front door A pair of hop-along boots And a pistol that shoots Is the wish of Barney and Ben Dawes that'll talk and will go for a walk Is the hope of Janice and Jen and Mom and Dad can hardly wait for school to start again It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas Everywhere you go There's a tree in the Grand Hotel One in the park as well It's the sturdy kind that doesn't mind the snow It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas Soon the bells will start. I hope that you guys had fun watching me create these really fun accordion pockets. I do hope that you will go check out Rosa's channel. Um, I had actually already emailed her and let her know that I was using her idea since she totally inspired me. So I hope you guys will go show her some love and let me know down below uh, what you're doing this week. All right, see you guys later. It's Bye. beginning to look a lot like Christmas Everywhere you go Take a look at the five and ten It's glistening once again With candy canes and silver lanes that glow It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas Toys in every store